Hey guys, it's Neil here from Post to Post, back ranking some more logos from leagues around the world. The NHL gets a lot of attention, the AHL does, hockey, OHL, WHL, QMJHL, ECHL, lots of really great leagues in North America. I'm Canadian, I pay attention to most of those leagues, but there are so many leagues outside of North America that I love looking at. It doesn't matter if it's in the UK, the EIHL, the AIHL in Australia with I think is maybe disbanded now, but uh, there are so many good leagues in so many different countries, and this is a really good example. This league's from France. I believe it's called the Magnus League. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's called the Magnus League, and these logos from these teams may be outdated. I'm They've been sitting kind of in my folder to do for a couple of months, so I do apologize if this is a, a bit out of date, but I just like ranking things. I like looking at logos, I like looking at designs, breaking them down. I work as a graphic designer, so my mind is constantly looking at different designs and kind of tearing them apart, I guess, mentally. So that's why I like doing this stuff so much, and I appreciate you joining me for this one. There are 12 logos in this league. I have ranked them 1 to 12. We're going to go through them in, in reverse order, 12 to 1. So we will start out with a team that I have ranked last. going to bring it up here. It is a team that I can, cannot pronounce. My French is is terrible. Um, even though that I do live in a bilingual province in, in Canada, uh, my French is terrible. So I'm just going to say this last place team. There's really not much wrong with it. It's It has kind of an academic feel, which is a style that we're used to in hockey with college and university hockey. Uh, so I'm, I'm used to it. It reminds me a bit of the Armada and the QMJHL because they use this color scheme and they use that A, stylized, very similar actually. And I love that jersey. Um, but this this logo reminds me of that, but it just feels a little clip arty. Like you looked for, I don't know, a, a generic puck design on Google Images, and then you took some generic text and you put an H in Photoshop. You added a, a bevel and a stroke, and that's you, you called it a day basically. So it's simple. I I, I respect that. Um, I don't like the cheesy little shine fake shines on the end of the word and at the bottom. That's the only part I really dislike. Everything else I would say is just kind of average and low effort, but I don't mean that in an offensive way, just low effort. Number 11, the <clears throat> Gothics, I believe is the English translation for this. I I go back and forth on this one. I I, I like the simplicity of it. It's it's almost a hidden design within, within the whole design itself. The G is in there, uh, and I like kind of almost gargoyle kind of presence it has uh, but at the same time if you see this from far away it just I think it would just look like a big mess I guess kind of on the jersey I think you, maybe this is one you have to be closer to to understand so it's a unique design it's cool but it's I don't know I feel like it could be a little bit better number 10 the red devils I think is the is the pronunciation or the trans translation for this in English I think this has a lot of potential, but there's so much going on here. There's a lot of detail in the de in the face of the devil, which is great. Um, but then you throw on this, again, generic clip art goalie mask on one side, which doesn't have a lot of detail, uh, doesn't have a lot of depth like the face does. And then you've got a big uh, tail coming up one side and then the, whatever that thing is called on the other side. And then text along the bottom in this big ribbon and then different styled text along the bottom that is curved weird and doesn't even match the curve of the circle underneath and then a different uh, font underneath that it's a there's just so much going on in this logo it is overwhelming from a from a design perspective it's you, your eyes are looking everywhere but there are a lot of cool elements in there so i i rank this above the other ones because i think it has potential it just needs dialed in a little bit Num oh, number nine the eagles i guess <clears throat> This has really good balance. Uh, it has the relationship between the font or the text and the animal or the mascot, whatever, uh, works really well together. It's all part of this one element versus, boom, here's my animal and here's my text. So they've combined it a little bit. I think that that, that always looks better on a jersey. Um, so I, I like that aspect. Uh, I just feel the you know, just the movement, I guess, of of the eagle is I, I prefer to see the wings kind of spread open a bit and I think what they were going for here is to make the eagle kind of look like the shape of a puck but I, it gets lost just a little bit 
I was going to say lost in translation, which is ironic because this is a league from France, but uh, from a design perspective, it gets lost in translation a bit, but we're almost there. It's it's not bad. Number eight, the Jokers. <clears throat> so overall, if we remove the puck, it kind of reminds me of, like of, a, of a gasoline brand or a, a gas station brand or something like that. I don't Maybe there's a another brand I'm thinking of, and these colors are kind of making me think that way, but I don't necessarily get hockey here other than the puck that's in the top. And I know it says Hockey Club <laughs> on it. And this is a, a classic style logo. Maybe it hasn't changed in the 30 years or the 40 years, I guess, since this team has been created. It's got 1981 there at the bottom. So um, it's it's a simple logo. I, I do like the colors. It's a little Christmassy, but it, it does have potential, and I respect history here. Number seven, the Scorpions. So this is kind of straddles the line between hockey logo and baseball logo. Baseball loves to do this kind of round logo with the text going on the top, angled, and going on the bottom, angled. So first impressions, this looks more like a baseball logo than a hockey logo, but it does have a hockey element. The scorpion's body or torso is made up of the puck. Um, so I like that aspect of it. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit busy though. It looks really good up close, but I think from far away, it would just be like, whoa. Number six, the boxers. Other than the <laughs> potential concerning dental work that's going on here and having the teeth, what looks to be re being removed from the jaw on the left hand side, uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty decent. I like when when teams use kind of an aggressive stance with their. I keep calling them mascots. They're not mascots, but they're chosen animal. Whatever you guys know what I mean. I like when those look aggressive and, and intimidating. That's what I want to see. And he does. He looks he looks pissed off. I like that. Um, everything is kind of contained into one shape too, as well. So I like this one. This the. He needs to visit a dentist, is all I'm saying. The perspective is, is wrong on the job. Number five, the Dukes, I guess is called. I'm going to call them the Owls, just because that looks like an owl to me. I like the classic look of this. I like the colors. Um, it, this, this whole design makes me think of the late 70s, early 80s. It's not pretty by any means. It's It's got decent balance. The wings come out. The owl looks pissed off in the face. Uh, I like the, the shading done in different colors and stuff, so uh, I do like this one. Number four, the Wolf Burners. Ugh, if I'm, I'm not sure if that uh, translation is correct, but this one has a lot of potential. A bit clip arty because of the whole generic fire thing, but I, I like the concept behind this. I like the idea. You can see exactly what they were going for, taking half of the wolf's face, setting it on fire, but still having it maintain ba the basic shape of the face of a wolf. So it does work. Uh, I don't know if it's the the implementation of the flames or the transition where it starts to gradient over could have been done a little bit better. It lacks a bit of dimension. Uh, it's almost really good dimension, 3D on the the non-fire side, and then it's kind of like blends in together a bit on the other side. I would maybe like to see a little bit more detail and definition in the face within the fire. It can still be on fire, but just want to see more of the face, I guess. Uh, but I, I like the I like the idea behind this. It was a really good uh, really good thought. Number three, I put the dragons. Really, nothing to complain about here. I like um, I like the colors. He has a, a great uh, expression in his face. There's a puck in here, so there's a bit of a hockey element. Uh, yeah, really, nothing to complain about. I, I like this one a lot. Number two, the pioneers. You got a mountain man wearing a toque. Yeah, that's right. I said toque. Holding a hockey stick in front of some mountains with some some text that has some dimension to it and then some more text below that's on kind of a wooden sign that you might find on a, a trail of a mountain colors that uh, complement each other this is a stellar stellar logo other than the fact that the top of the stick looks like uh, a bit of a samurai sword but other than that this is this is great i really i genuinely love this logo and number one i put the Gap Hawks, or I'm just going to call them the Hawks. Colors, uh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Love that shade of blue with the black, with that gray or silver. Um, the the talons wrapping around the text, almost like crushing it in because they changed the perspective of the font to kind of come out on the ends and, and, and thin within the middle. So it's almost like it's he's pushing it and it's bending backwards and he's about to crush the the, the text and the font. I really like that. That's that's really cool. That's, that's a good 
implementation of, of aggression other than just emotion and face. So I like that a lot. Uh, I like the shape within the background as well. The uh, the hawk is coming out of that what looks to be that uh, triangle <laughs> in the background. So yeah, I like this one a lot. I like the colors specifically. So good job, hawks or gap hawks. <laughs> You've placed number one in my ranking. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to see me do more uh, logo rankings, uh, jersey rankings, please let me know down below in the comment section. Which league should I do next? Uh, which which jerseys would you like to see me do? We'd love to hear your suggestions down below. I have some other things prepped. You'll be, we'll be seeing them coming soon in the next coming weeks and months. Uh, lots of logo rankings, lots of jersey rankings. I love ranking stuff. It's a ridiculous, it's a ridiculous thing to do. It really is, but it's a. Uh, it's almost an addiction. I like looking at new designs and figuring out where they place. It's a weird addiction. <laughs> it's not an expensive addiction, which is great. It's free, but uh, yeah, it's one I enjoy. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you're new. Hit this like button if you like the video. And uh, did I say that right? Hit the like button if you like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.